What's up, people? Yes, you see it. One more car edition. And today, again, we're moving towards going into court. We're also talking about the why of doing certain things. Now, one of the things I ran across yesterday was hearsay. And then it brought me back to why when someone makes a call, it first has to deal with some form of illegal behavior or some type of crime or criminal activity and not just reasonable suspicion. And also, it has to be from a credible source. Now, looking through the rules of federal evidence, because they always tell you, what do you say, whatever you say, will be held against you in a court of law. Now, here's how. Because yesterday we saw that the burden of proof on every element of a crime is on the accuser. So, looking at um, Federal Rules of Evidence, Rule 602, a witness may not testify to a matter unless evidence is introduced sufficient to support a finding that the witness had personal knowledge of the matter. Now, that is why whenever they make a call, they have to have an assertion of illegality. And because of that pesky Sixth Amendment and your right to confront your accuser, they have to have personal knowledge. It can't be third party information. It can't come from a source that cannot be verified. And there has to be evidence introduced to support what they are saying. This is why a lot of police officers get in trouble because they'll take the word of an anonymous person that they've never met before and then wonder why they can't find evidence to support what was told to them and i'm gonna leave you with one more and i'm gonna come back a little later because i got a, one other one to talk about and this one is federal rules of evidence 802 Hearsay is not admissible except as provided by rules or other rules prescribed by the Supreme Court pursuant to statutory authority or act of Congress. What's being said right there, because there are hearsay exceptions. One of those is a dying declaration. I'll get deeper into that again as we go deeper into the court sessions, but this is one of the whys of why they can't just take the word of somebody because there has to be evidence to support their word. And this is also something that um, a First Amendment auditor, he had not, he had someone say he said something or say he did something. But as that unfolds, unless there is evidence of him saying or doing that act, they are in trouble because they just took the word of someone without evidence. So hearsay is not evidence. Someone calling in is not evidence. So until next time.